No. So we'll, let's talk about Mother's Day. Oh my God, can we tell that story? I'm, yeah, yeah, I think so. It, I'm kind of over it, I guess. And it's actually, it's actually wait, a public service. Wait. It's a public service <laughs> to all mothers who visit their kids who no. want to be cool and air in the heat and get dehydrated and have mimosas. This is a very dangerous combination. We're just going to do an overview. We're not going to do too many details. Uh, right. <laughs> okay. One of my friends, basically, she was put together this brunch and she invited me and I said, oh, my mom's in town. She said, bring your mom. Mm -hmm. So we go to the brunch and they have like mimosas that are $8 or bottomless mimosas that right. are 10. So obviously my mom and I are business savvy. Yeah. So we go bottomless. The entire table goes does. bottomless yes. mimosa. And so um, I had one at the very beginning. Okay, stop, time out. <laughs> no, you have to give them what happened starting at 6 a.m. When I went to the beach. I walked. This is your, this. And I got dehydrated. <laughs> and I didn't want to carry a bulky water bottle. So I had, so I had a debit card. And I only got eight ounces of water. What does your debit card have to do with the eight ounces of water? <laughs> I couldn't call an Uber with a debit card. <laughs> so I had to walk. Well, you, you use your phone to call an Uber. I didn't have my phone. I only had my Fitbit. <laughs> And it doesn't call out. But I was very seriously dehydrated that you forgot to put that part because I only had two mimosas and the rest of yours. No, you did not. This is true. Two. I swear to God. It's no, true. you didn't. No. They keep filling them up. It's no, you were happened. not drinking yours because you had that. I was know. driving. Were you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I had what? Responsibilities? Right. So I was like, oh, mom, did you have too many? And you're like, no. <laughs> no. And I was like, oh, my God. No. I said, someone drugged me. She said, said someone she said, drugged me. <laughs> <laughs> she, said, she said, Adam, I'm scared. <laughs> I said that. What? Because I said, I, I said, think What are you scared of? She said, she said Somebody drugged me. <laughs> no, I didn't say that declaratively. I said, I no, I said, I think, I think someone no. drugged me. I didn't say someone drugged me, like call the police. I was like, I think someone might have drugged me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the end. <laughs> Do you remember once you told me that you're like, I'm going to change my last name? Yes, to Kennedy. Yeah, so you'd yeah. be Kelly Kennedy. Yeah, that was a good combo. KK. It's kind of cute. Would you ever yeah. do that? Uh, I don't know. I was going to change it, actually, because people keep, when I go to, I told you, I went to Chillicothe, Ohio, um, big place, and when I walked into the hotel, I couldn't believe there were like 16 people just waiting for Kelly Ripa. And I was like, sorry, you got the other one. I'm not her. <laughs> so they keep the, you know. So, so you're like, enough is enough. I'd rather I've be mistaken it. for a Kennedy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but they're like, aren't, what? And then I'm like, I don't even spell it the same way. Like, it's not like I said it on the phone. Oh, I'm Kelly Rippon. And they think, oh, she said Kelly Rippa. They have the exact spelling on the registration. How dare they? I mean. They didn't know any better. How did how we get here? We took a taxi. Yeah. But how did we get here in the bigger okay. picture? One moment that I can think of that was recent where I can think like, holy shit, I can't believe what my mom did was when I was at the Olympics and people were asking me what my other siblings did and where they went to school and everything. And I was thinking, okay, I'm at the Olympics. My mom has another son in law school. She has another son who's getting a master's degree in biostatistics um, in Columbia. She has another daughter in college, another daughter that just started college, and another son that wants to go and study animation in a year. And I'm like, oh my God, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. And it comes back to what was written on the porch. Yeah. After I got divorced, 
I was overwhelmed and I read like every self-help book on the market and I read that um, it was really important to write things down and that way goals were more likely to actualize. So on the back of my deck on the porch, I wrote, uh, in this home lives Adam a champion, Tyler a creator, Brady a genius, Jordan a master teacher, Dagny a leader, Sawyer a multitude of joy, and Kelly who's blessed with abundance. And I never really thought about it other than every day I would go out to the porch and make myself read that and just be grateful, you know, that the kids were healthy and that they were happy. And about three or four years ago, I painted the porch and the person that was at the house said, um, why did you put this on the, on the porch? And I said, um, oh, I did that a long, long time ago. And they said, well, how did you ever know it was gonna come true? And I had chills that day thinking, oh my goodness, it has come true. I think that you've always like planted seeds. Yes. I just remember my mom when I was young telling me a bunch of things. And then when I got a little older and I started applying it because I thought it was like my own ideas because I thought like I was a genius. Um, I realized that it was all of these things that my mom had told me ever since I was young that I was using. And when I actually applied what my mom was saying, I think that's when I saw my like greatest <clears throat> potential.